Hey everyone, this is Chirag and today I would like to talk about Google Cloud Associate Engineer Certification exam. I sat for that exam last week and I would like to share my thoughts about what you can expect from the exam as well as what kind of resources available for the preparation. I will cover couple of other things let let me finish quickly about the topics you can make a notes also and after that I will jump on couple of web pages which I would like to show so let's start it with this exam topics first one you really need to know about IAM this is the core you can say about this exam because this exam is not from the architecture perspective it is more on the hands-on perspective it is uh, it is something like that until unless you will not play in the console not know that how actually the structure of IAM rules and permissions policies in GCP it will be tough to understand the question let me tell you clearly that exam even it is mentioned associate but I can say it is one of the toughest exam at this associate level if you compare it with AWS sysops this is the exam or you can compare it with Microsoft Azure uh, administrator exam which is AZ104 this exam really covers very well I really appreciate because this is for me it's a recertification I appeared two years back and I got a notice that uh, my recertification is due and they gave me some 50% coupon so instantly I booked the exam and uh, sat within a day or two without taking any uh, courses or any kind of preparation but I really would like to kudos to GCP team I was expecting it is maybe the same exam but lot of things are change changing as well as they update the exam so I see couple of new topics inside the exam so make sure don't take this exam as just a associate level because even if you pass the exam if you don't know how to perform the task it will not add any value so make sure again I'm putting a focus because that is where the things are taking a different shape that doing a certification will give you everything let me tell you clearly nothing gonna happen if you really don't know and IAM is the most important part here you really need to know how the structure of IAM is what are the resources permission services all these how it is written and what are the major things predefined already available because you will interact with such kind of things in the exam that what kind of permission role you need to select until unless you will not play all the options seems uh, familiar or it will like that this one right this one right but there is always a catch in the question that is why I mentioned that this is not not a cup of tea exam so know the IAM know where it will apply what are the hierarchy what are the structure of Google Cloud organization folder project and resources how the IAM permissions are getting inherited how explicit deny will apply and what will be the impact if explicit deny apply on the lower resource but on the above upper resource you have the full admin permission whether the conflict will happen or not that is a part you really need to know the second topic G cloud SDK you really need to know how to type a command from CLI to spin up resources you need to know how to configure the G cloud CLI on your system that is where some catch and the questions so th questions can be again easy if you really know as as confusing if you really don't know if you don't play if you just watch some courses or here and there some documentation or some kind of a uh, this practice test that will not help because passing exam again will not add any value so no play spin a few resources and I will cover like what are the three or four especially the top key areas where you need to focus for this exam the another is networking this is really required few questions even I feel some confusion and I need um, uh, you know some kind of a imagination to design that how the things are going to work so you really need to know about what are the uh, how what are the ranges supported in GCP uh, virtual uh, network as well as the peering part how the peering will work what kind of the best practices is required whether you can add some more subnets in the same network that will solve your problem or you need to create a different network to make it uh, peer with the existing network really need to know so understand about the 
feature understand about the fundamental and play in the console these are the free of cost kind of services if you sign up for the account for 90 days you will get 300 dollars uh, sorry 300 dollars and uh, you can play and after that there are sir few services which will be always free so make sure to explore and set compute i can tell you if you create a compute engine or the virtual machine from the console know each and every option because few questions are tested from those things if you never played with that if you think that just spinning a compute engine in 20 seconds will solve the problem yes that is the power of cloud that agility the quickness everything but maybe spend one or two hour i can tell you you will be thankful to me then later that if you spend one or two hours know what options are available what are the nuts and bolt bolts what kind of permissions how to put in in some different network what uh, how how you can attach some extra disk so go through all those things it will take time but it will be for the long term another storage you really need to know the storage for the compute engine also which is known as persistent disk the newer announcement which happened in google next those are not covered in this exam but still the last year you can say i believe it is updated maybe six months ago something the few services which were already ga last year so those are tested so know about the persistent disk know about the storage classes google cloud storage you need to know the life cycle thing and then you you need to know that in which scenario the storage class will fit best and this is the another catch which is not only for the google cloud but overall ecosystem that you need to know about kubernetes kubectl commands really again you don't need to be expert but you need to know the basics of how the kubernetes structure what are the pod what are the services what are the deployment what are the uh, replica set everything you need to know and then you need to know whether you will use the g cloud cli to interact or to do something for your kubernetes cluster or you need to use the kubectl that is that is where the catch of couple of questions are but it's really really good i really enjoyed the question and as well as i am working on such kind of things on my daily basis so i really enjoyed this exam so let me uh, let me go to some web pages i would like to show some more information so this is about the exam page you can see the guide and you can register it will cost 125 dollar you can take it offline as well as online i took offline i feel more comfortable going to center uh, but if you think that you want to take it online from your home up to you there is no cost difference whether you take offline or online it will be same and uh, i am still waiting for the soft copy of my result i believe due to the present situation some delays are happening but uh, i got my provisional result instantly at that time uh, so here you can see i appeared on 1st september and result is passed another important thing here i would like to say as i mentioned that it is for me it's our second time it's a recertification i appeared back in 2018 so i got this mail and this mail consists of a voucher code i already used so don't try to copy maybe it will not work up to you if you want to waste your time by copying and applying this code so such kind of mail you will get if any recertification is due or if you are going for the first time you need to pay the full amount plus some taxes will be there so go for that register if you have a plan to appear for this exam and i check with couple of my friends that for the professional and uh, professional architect and the other gcp exams they also got some such kind of a 50 percent discount coupon so i believe it is applicable on each and every exam if it is for the recertification but if you are going for the first time it will be uh, the full amount so this is important i will drop all the link so here you can see uh, i am role so you you need to really know what things are out of the box available what are the predefined or primitive primitives are very older and the small scope scope in the sense of the number of count only owner editor and reader such kind of thing is but apart from that from each service wise you can see here are the services given you need to know four to five services again make a note compute engine know bit about app engine know about google uh, kubernetes engine storage 
services especially the google cloud storage and persistent disk and then you need to know a bit about a big query not from that how the query structure but what is the actual use case of big query and how you can make sure the data will be secure and what kind of iam or such kind of things will be there then you need to, need to know about the structure of overall google google cloud platform hierarchy from the organization folders project and resources so so that is where the trick will be that at what level you can apply to make sure the things will be much easy for for the user for the architect for the developer for the operations for the governance so everything is covered very well just four or five services you need to know don't think that you need to learn everything for this exam but yes for the practical and your daily job purpose you need to know what are the major services you are using in your project so the very very well written documentation i really like the google cloud documentation the way it is written the concepts and as well as the example so have a look at this page i will again as mentioned i will drop a link you can bookmark and then this is a course again personally i have not taken this course but i heard from again my friends that they have used this course and it is covering each and every aspect of this exam i am not getting paid for recommending this it's just like a, because it's a good platform i have personally used this platform for learning another other cloud platforms back in 2016 17 so i am recommending like if you want you can follow or you if you comfortable with any other course it's up to you again but this is my recommendation because i getting lot of a good feedback from uh, from my friends who already learned and appear for the exam and they they found that the content is good and it is covering the every aspect of the exam and this is again the personal uh, i can say the platform which i really like the plural site they also have this certification path for this uh, gcp associate cloud engineer i have not completed anything i am just recommending because plural site i am using personally for again learning couple of different track and couple of different technology and i know their content is always awesome so you can take this Uh, also if you already have a subscription of plural site if you not then you can follow the a cloud guru again it's up to you my way of learning is i go open the console play follow the documentation then if required some courses because that is where your actual learning will come don't think only just to learn the course and then plan for the exam and just after passing exam journey is over actually that is the start of your journey so try to learn try to make your own strength as well as few things you need to have on tips it will really help you to grow your career as well as to leverage the value of a certification because doing certification will not add any any value until unless you don't know how actually you are going to implement the things in your production project environment or whatever you are going to do or maybe client delivery however you are going to do the migration you really need to know the aspect this is for the technical people you really need to know many many technical things also not too too much of depth but you really need to know if you are the first timer you are going to start i recommend you spend some time don't think that just passing exam is your target it may take 3 to 6 months but once you comfortable with platform you will be able to do the work because the cloud world as the cloud is changing every day and google is coming with lot of new features and technology richness lot of services once they but once the fundamental is strong, strong you will be able to do the work on platform comfortably so these are the few things which i would like to share and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel share in your circle as well as if you have any query you can drop in comment i will respond as soon as possible and take care all the best